Do you want to build muscle effectively? One common mistake is not progressively overloading your muscles. Progressive overload, quite simply, is the gradual increase of stress placed upon the body during exercise. It's a fundamental principle in fitness, especially for those aiming to increase muscle mass. So what happens if you disregard this principle? Well, you might find yourself stuck in a loop, lifting the same weights, repeating the same number of sets and reps, week after week. The result? Your muscles adapt to the load, and growth comes to a standstill. Now, the solution isn't necessarily about lifting heavier each time, it's about increasing the overall volume of your workout, whether that's by adding more weight, doing more reps, or incorporating more sets. Tracking your workouts can be a great help here. Log your weights, sets, and reps, then aim to gradually increase these numbers over time. Remember, muscles need to be challenged to grow. Don't stick with the same routine. Another roadblock to muscle growth? Not getting enough sleep. The importance of sleep in muscle recovery and growth is something that often gets overlooked. When we sleep, our bodies enter a state of repair, rebuilding the muscles that have been broken down during workouts. It's during these precious hours that our bodies release growth hormones, fundamental to muscle building. However, if we neglect our sleep, skimping on those vital eight or more hours, we're robbing our bodies of this crucial recovery time. This mistake can lead to fatigue, decrease performance, and ultimately hinder our muscle building efforts. But don't worry, developing good sleep habits isn't rocket science. It's about consistency. Aim to go to bed and wake up at the same time each day. Create a serene sleep environment, avoid screens before bedtime. And remember, no amount of training or nutrition can compensate for insufficient sleep. Sleep is a non-negotiable part of muscle building, make it a priority. Are you fueling your muscles right? A common mistake is not eating enough protein. Now let's dive into why this is crucial. Protein isn't just about satisfying your post-workout hunger pangs. It's the key ingredient that helps repair and build your muscles after a rigorous workout. When you're not feeding your body enough protein, you're essentially robbing your muscles of the building materials they need to grow stronger and bigger. So, how do you know if you're getting enough? The answer varies depending on your body weight and activity level, but a general rule of thumb is to aim for at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight each day, and it's not as hard as you might think to get that amount. A protein shake post-workout, a serving of lean meats or fish at meals, or a handful of nuts for a snack can easily add up. Protein is the building block of muscles, don't skimp on it. Are you lifting for your ego or for your muscles? Ego lifting is a common mistake. Now what's ego lifting? It's when you prioritize lifting heavier weights over maintaining proper form. It's a dangerous habit, driven more by the desire to impress others than by the goal of actual muscle growth. Ego lifting can lead to serious injuries and hinder your muscle building progress. Lifting weights that are too heavy for you compromises your form and puts undue stress on your body. This can strain your muscles and joints, leading to long-term damage. Instead, focus on maintaining good form, even if it means lifting lighter weights. It's not about how much you lift, but how you lift. Choose weights that challenge you but are still manageable. Remember, your goal is muscle growth, not impressing the person next to you in the gym. Lift with your muscles, not your ego. Safety and progress go hand in hand. Do you know what's on your plate? Not tracking calories and macros is a common mistake. Let's talk about food. It's not just about eating to satisfy your hunger. When it comes to building muscle, food is fuel. But it's not just any fuel. You need the right kind and the right amount. That's where calories and macros come in. Picture your body as a finely tuned machine. It needs a certain amount of fuel to function, and even more if you're pushing it hard at the gym. That fuel is your caloric intake. Not getting enough calories is like trying to drive a car with an empty tank. You'll sputter out. But overfilling the tank? That just leads to unnecessary weight gain. And what about macros? They're the big three, proteins, carbs, and fats. Each plays a unique role in muscle building. Proteins are the building blocks of muscle, carbs provide the energy to power through workouts, and fats support hormone production and overall health. But here's the kicker, not all macros are created equal. You could fill up on carbs with a dozen donuts, but is that really the kind of fuel your body needs? Of course not. So how do you avoid this mistake? Start by understanding your daily caloric needs. There are plenty of online calculators to help you figure out your basic metabolic rate and how many extra calories you need for muscle growth. Next, break down those calories into macros. A common ratio is 40% protein, 40% carbs, and 20% fat. 
but remember your body is unique. Those ratios might need tweaking to match your body type, activity level, and goals. And finally, keep track of what you're eating. There are countless apps that can help you log your meals and snacks. It might seem tedious at first, but it's the only way to know for sure if you're giving your body the right fuel. What you eat matters as much as how you train. Keep a close eye on your diet. Are you running your own race? Comparing yourself to others is a destructive mistake. It's a trap that can drain your motivation and erode your self-esteem. Why? Because when you measure your progress against someone else's, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Everyone's body responds differently to workouts, everyone's metabolism is unique, and everyone's journey is personal. Remember, you're on your own path. You're building your own body, not someone else's. Comparing your chapter 1 to someone else's chapter 20 can derail your personal fitness goals. Instead, focus on your own journey. Celebrate your own progress. Rejoice in every pound you lift, every new muscle you see, every extra minute you can run. Comparison can be a thief of joy. It can rob you of the satisfaction that comes from personal improvement. So stop looking sideways. Start looking forward. Your only competition is the person you were yesterday. Stay focused on your own path. Are you executing your exercises correctly? Poor form is a common and dangerous mistake. Now let's talk about why this matters so much. When you're hitting the gym, the goal is to challenge your muscles, not your joints. The way you perform each exercise, your form, is absolutely critical to this. It's the difference between a workout that builds strength and one that just risks injury. Let's put it this way. Imagine you're doing a squat. If your knees are caving in or your back is rounding, you're not just making the exercise less effective, you're also putting unnecessary stress on your joints. Over time, this can lead to injuries that could keep you out of the gym for weeks or even months. But it's not just about avoiding injury. Proper form ensures you're actually working the muscles you're supposed to be working. When you curl a dumbbell with a swinging motion, you're not really targeting your biceps. You're letting momentum do the work. The result? Your muscles don't get the challenge they need to grow. So how do you master form? Start with lighter weights. It might feel like a step back, but it's actually a leap forward. With lighter weights, you can focus on the muscle you're working, feeling it contract and relax. You can make sure your back is straight, your core is tight, and your movements are controlled. Get feedback too. A trainer can be a big help here. They can spot check your form and provide corrections. But if a trainer isn't an option, use a mirror. It's not about vanity. It's about visual feedback. And remember, it's not a race. Don't rush through your reps. Take your time. Feel the muscle work. Control the movement. Make every rep count. Form is key in every exercise. It's not about how much you lift. It's about how you lift. So next time you're in the gym, don't just go through the motions. Focus on your form. It'll make a world of difference. So there you have it the common mistakes to avoid when building muscle. Let's recap. Make sure you're progressively overloading your muscles. This means gradually increasing the amount of weight you're lifting to challenge your muscles and stimulate growth. Don't underestimate the importance of sleep. Aiming for at least eight hours a night can do wonders for your recovery and muscle growth. Protein is your friend. Consuming enough protein is crucial for muscle repair and growth. Avoid ego lifting. Lifting weights that are too heavy for you can lead to injuries and ironically, hinder your progress. Tracking your calories and macros is key. It's not enough to just eat a lot, you need to know what you're eating and why. Lastly, don't compare your journey to someone else's. Everyone's body is different and it's important to focus on your own progress. Avoiding these mistakes can set you on the path to effective muscle building. Remember it's not just about working hard, it's about working smart.